I'm Dr. Monica. I'm here with Dana, and we're two of the co-founders of Red Drop. And we're so glad that you're here with us today. Because if you're watching this video, that probably means that you're about to start your period, or maybe you just did. Either way, we're excited that you're here. And we're so happy that the adult brought you to us because we are here to help dispel myths right. and give you facts. And adults can't know everything. So that's okay, and that's why we're here. Now, how are you feeling? Are you feeling anxious or scared? Nervous? Maybe excited? Either way, however you're feeling right now is perfectly normal. Mm -hmm. Since you're taking this class with us, we know that you will feel so much more comfortable and you will be ready for whatever happens when your period comes on. So today we're gonna to introduce you to some props. They're my favorite part. Absolutely. But you should have also <laughs> received your own prop. Mm -hmm. And so as we go through, I'll point out on here, this is an important piece for you to refer back to whenever you need to, to really understand your outside and your inside parts. So, first things that we have to understand when we talk about periods is our outside anatomy. And if you were with me as I went through um, how to clean yourself, then you've already gone there. But we're going to review a little bit. So, there I introduce you to your, vul your vulva, your um, labia, your outside and your inside, your labia minora and labia majora. At the top of your labia minora is your clitoris, which is that sensitive little bump and then right behind that is the entrance to your urethra, which is where your urine flows out, and then behind that is your vagina. And your vagina is a very special part of a woman's anatomy. It's the tube that really connects the outside to the inside, and it's muscular and it's very stretchy. And that's important because sometimes what goes through a vagina is? A baby. A baby. Yeah. And so it's really important that you understand that. And now that you understand the inside of your anatomy, which we call your body, right? The inside of your body, um, that's where a period comes from. And so we have another very special prop today, which is a uterus pillow. <laughs> and so this, uh, this uterus pillow is not the actual size of your uterus. It is not, um, but it is just a depiction of what a uterus looks like. But if you um, hold up your fist, Dr. Monica, you want to hold up your fist and you place it right there, that is truly in proximity of what, where your uterus is and what the size of your uterus is. Now, the uterus is extremely special and it's very unique. It's a muscle. It, stretch, it stretches. And so... How many of you all have seen a pregnant woman? I know I have. I've been a pregnant woman. <laughs> I've seen a pregnant woman. And so um, your uterus stretches like, you know, a basketball. Like, and that's where um, the baby grows and is sheltered and in a very safe um, environment. So now that you understand that a uterus can grow the size of a basketball. It's really important for you to know that while the baby is inside of the uterus, it is not swimming in your stomach. It is not where your hot Cheetos are or your grilled cheeses. It is safe and secure and sheltered inside of a, the uterus, which is a separate body part. And so what's really important about the uterus is that it is the heart of the reproductive system and it's where your period or that blood that discharge is going to come from so dr monica is now going to tell us a little bit more about a uterus and what happens when you get your period thank you that's an important refresher about internal anatomy because that is where your period comes from it comes from your uterus through your cervix out through your vagina and then out of your body and i know a period sounds kind of icky right it's like yucky but it's a wonderful thing and it's really amazing how your body knows to do this mm -hmm. so the first thing you need to know about a period is it's going to be a blood bloody fluid discharge that comes out of your vagina it's not going to shoot out it's not going to squirt out no. it's not going to gush out it's going to trickle out and it's going to trickle for a few days it's going to stop and then it's going to start again so let's talk about why it stops and starts again. Now we talked about our uterus, and remember it's hollow. It's a hollow place that your body has created mm -hmm. for a baby to grow. So if you remember, 
The uterus is what your body's created to shelter that baby and for it to grow. And if you think of a uterus almost like a nest, mm -hmm. and everything a baby needs is in there, it's blood and fluid, it's all in this special nest. So why does your body shed it? Well, what happens is when you start going through puberty, your body sends out hormones, which are like chemical messengers, and it sends it out to all parts of your body to tell it to change. And so you'll get pubic hair, mm -hmm. your breasts grow, you get armpit hair and it sends signals to your uterus to start practicing to have a baby because it takes a lot of practice to have a baby so these chemical messengers send it to or chemical messengers end up in the uterus and they tell the nest to get fluffy and so all those fluids and blood go there to get ready to receive a baby when no baby is there your uterus says hey let's clean up yeah and so your period is like a once a month cleanup inside your uterus. And so when those fluids leave, that endometrial lining, which is something that we list here, mm -hmm. leaves your body through your vagina and that's your period. So like I mentioned, once it does this cleaning, the cleaning takes three to seven days. It's it, completely variable and three days is normal, seven days is normal. Right. It will stop and then it will start again. Now for a woman, it usually happens once a month. For a girl, when you first start your period, it could be two months, it could happen again in two weeks. It's completely variable and that's totally normal. Yes. So the thing that we really wanna talk about today with regards to starting your period is that it's a wonderful thing that your body is growing and maturing normally. It's nothing right. to be ashamed of, it's nothing no. to be embarrassed about, and all females will have a period at some point. And it's your, it's your journey. It's, it's, you're, you're not gonna be like your friend. It's going to be your own, so, yeah. So I know you probably have a lot more questions. We have a lot more answers, but if you have any specific questions, please DM us at our Instagram. At Red Drop. Thanks for joining us. Talk to you soon.